Hello everyone! Today we are going to draw a lemon using soft pastels. Please make sure you define the scale of the painting using frame or a ruler. Define main objects using light pencils, beige or light peach color. After that, applying major tones. In this painting, those are yellow, orange and bright blue. Very important that you keep pastels at the beginning in horizontal position, that it has very light touch with the paper. After applying major tones, you need to define brightest and darkest parts of the painting. The brightest one is where the source of light meets the main object. You can see that this space on lemon is almost getting to brightest tones of yellow and eventually to white. The darkest points are shadows. We see them in the cloth. Contrast between darkest and brightest colors would reach extremes but it would help us to give depth to the image. It is very important to shade layers by applying first the brightest, then contrasting with shades of lighter color. Blue ultramarine and light purple you can see in the cloth. Also important to remember that objects on the paintings hardly ever keep the same color. Exception is modern art, of course, especially pop art. In classical paintings, objects talk for changing their main tone. In this painting, lemon transforms from light yellow into orange, then into brown, and eventually taking shades of the blue cloth, which helps to complete the composition. Also, you can see that the blue cloth is not constantly blue and takes shadows from the lemon in the brightest parts of the drapery. You can see that soft pastels are not always soft enough, that you first need to exercise them on a piece of paper as ballerina needs to prepare her shoes before wearing them. You can see indeed that for some of the pastels I needed a little bit of exercise before applying. The highlights are very important as they help to welcome more light into the painting. While you apply layers and adding touch of yellow, be very careful not to add too much yellow as it could turn to green. In this painting I was trying to use only pastels without applying pencils, but surely if you do not feel comfortable with thin parts of the cloth, you can use pastel pencils. Do not forget to always have a tissue, as your hands will get the pigment very quickly and might shade not in the color you expect. Make sure to use tissue or wash your hands if necessary. While using soft pastels, you will feel that usually the darkest colors are very hard to apply. In this regard, you have to be very careful and to exercise them greatly before applying. At this stage, you can see that I'm applying bright color and dark color without blending it. The purpose of this exercise is to fill the painting and to see the final touch what needs to be done. Adding the final touch by making more visible the lightest parts and complete the final shading. I would love to dedicate my tutorial to my parents and my grandparents. And would love to thank them for helping me in my art journey. I hope it was useful and thank you very much for watching.